you know, it's, 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 it's my decision, uh, you know, as, as to how much alcohol I want, wanted to drink. Uh, I probably had, um, uh, let's see, an average glass of wine is probably, I think, eight ounces. So I probably had um, four, maybe, yeah, may, may, maybe twelve ounces of wine, maybe. Maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit more than that. I don't know. Maybe between twelve yeah. and sixteen uh, uh, ounces of wine, and then, uh, then, 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 then I had that uh, that um, pinnacle. Uh, it's a sweetened vodka. Uh, so I probably had about two or three shots of that, and that was sure. it. Yeah, no, it wasn't. It wasn't a ton. I was. I was very surprised at your tolerance, Brent. Yeah, I'm not a big drinker. Um, you don't say. When I drink, I tend to either uh, get silly, uh, uh-huh. you know, or, or very, or very emotional, you know, like crying my beer type stuff. Oh, thank God that didn't happen. No. <laughs> I thought it was pretty silly, wasn't it? Huh? Sometimes it can oh, be, I can yeah. be very mellow, mellowing on me, which is I think what we were hoping for. To say that you were silly would be like telling somebody in the path of the tidal wave they would experience moisture. I see. Yeah, but it did not have a mellowing effect on me. No, not even a little bit, which was really what I was looking for. Yeah, that's what I was. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Sometimes it does have that effect on me, although apparently it did not this time. Well, whatever you yeah, do, now, don't get silly around Ed in San Antonio because there could be problems. Right. Well, well right. I, 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 I just. I don't know exactly what those problems would be, but uh, but I certainly well, am not a fighter. That's for sure. Well, that's uh, my my point is that Ed enjoys the uh, the uh, sticky green butt. Oh yes, I have no yeah. idea. Now, 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 Britt, <laughs> Basically, the, the 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 story is that you know you you had a friend there who drove you, and. She, I just wanted to leave a little early, and there was some kind of incident, like maybe you were mean to her or said something to her. What, what, what is your story, side of the story to this that caused your friend to become very upset with you, and to cause like Brian and Whitney to have to go outside and talk to her, and and then become very upset with you? Well, uh, she and I have talked a lot uh, uh, since. Uh, ba- basically, she is. She was very kind to go and give me a, ro- a ride from her place in uh, uh, Shoreline, which is a little north of Seattle. Uh, that's where actually our Senator Patty Murray is from. Um, it, it, then, uh, so, you know, she got me a ride to the uh, to the casino for the buffet, and got me a ride uh, over to uh, uh, to Brian's, and. I had offered uh, to pay her gas um, if she got me a ride back after the show, um, but but uh, but I was I was thinking that that maybe uh, because she's not really a wrestling fan uh, and she had to be at work the next day that she might not stay to to the end of the show, and and in that case I wasn't going to be paying for her gas. And so when we were at the buffet, I offered to pay for her buffet, which was about, uh, including the, um, you know, including the tip, about $25 or so. Um, she, 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 she declined to have me uh, pay for the buffet. And then when I, um, you know, so that, there was just, um, she just didn't under, understand exactly what was going on. So we, um, uh, you know, so so Craig and uh, and Brian uh, encouraged me to leave with her an hour before the show started and uh, before the show ended, and I wanted I wanted uh, to see the Daniel Bryan uh, John Cena match. So when we got in the car, I said, you know, why don't you just take a few minutes so I can I didn't have my cell phone with me, and I rarely use it anyway to use her cell phone to call the. Um, uh, she doesn't have a phone, and neither do I. Where you can look it up on the internet to call the the uh, the bus um, uh, service to see whether the I could leave from Brian lives in Bothell, so I could leave from the Bothell Park and ride, and that way get me back to Seattle. But uh, but she didn't want to 
have the uh, patience for it. So, um, you know, so I said, okay, that's fine. You just go ahead and go home. And um, I, uh, you know, and I'll go back in and and I'll take, take a cab. Well, she didn't hear me say that uh, I was going to take a cab. I mentioned it, but she just didn't hear it. And so she was concerned that I would strand myself there. She went uh, a year ago. Uh, she uh, joined us uh, for ice cream, and so she met some of the guys uh, a year ago, and I was going to... Uh, um, no, wait, it was, yeah, it was two years before when when um, Brian was going to pick me up in Everett to go to the... Uh, yeah, to go to go to that same um you know, that 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 same casino. Uh mm. only I, I, I missed I missed Brian, he was gonna pick me up at the 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 Everett Park and Ride and the North Everett Park and Ride and I got confused and I, I missed Brian and I felt terrible and felt never I'm never, I'm, never, I'm never going to uh put Brian in this position again. And I actually played the messages for when Brian was upset with me, and so uh, for but he wasn't that upset. I guess it's because uh, um, the, the buffet didn't have opened until later, so it worked out okay. Anyway, that's what wasn't there a few years ago. Um, so, but so my friend remembered that situation of me uh, inconveniencing Brian, uh, and so she didn't want me to be in that position again, figuring if she left, I would end up stranded. And I, you know, she didn't hear me say that uh, that wasn't going to happen because I had enough money for for a uh, for a cab home. They have a flat rate cab, so it probably would about twenty five dollars. Um, so uh, Craig was kind enough to arrange somebody to get me a ride all the way home. So when my friend arrived back, she was upset uh, because uh, she thought that I would. Uh, be stranded there, and then she was upset because I didn't pay her the uh, the gas money um, that I had said I would pay her. You know, if she you know took me back at the end of the show, but she didn't stay to the end of the show. And ultimately, I thought about it, and I decided that uh, that because she's been so kind to come and visit me from either Shoreline or North Seattle uh, to where I am in. Uh, uh, you know, in downtown Seattle, with you know, with the and she's taken me grocery shopping. She's been very, very good to me, and so I'm going to go and get her uh, some money for the gas uh, for all of the uh, effort that she has made. And so she and I have talked, and she just feels that that it was just a lack of uh, of communication, and she feels that, that under the influence of the alcohol, she didn't feel that I was uh, really any different than. Uh, you know, the, 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 I don't, she did feel like I'm really any different than I normally am, and uh, oh. I uh, she was talking to uh, uh, you know Brian and Whitney some about how I was going to get back. Just 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 uh, they had a discussion because uh, she's known me for about ten years, and so they were just uh, I think discussing uh, Brent's tendencies, and I had urged Brian. I said. I said, listen, this is your job to cover the pay-per-view. It's not fair that you ought to be talking to my friend. Um, I said, let Brian go back in the house and do his job. And Brian went over to the door and says, no, 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 I, I, can, uh, well, I can watch it on, uh, on, you know, on delay later. Uh, it's okay, don't worry about it. So I feel bad that uh, he was taking away uh, time from his job, but that's what he chose to do. So... Um, you know, Alana and I've spoke uh, the um, you know for a couple of a uh, couple of days, and this weekend on Saturday, I'm going to a uh, fundraiser for uh, uh, for uh, um, ALS, uh, Lou Gehrig's disease. Uh, there's a former University of Washington women's basketball player, Melissa Erickson, who just died a few months ago of ALS, about age 34, I believe. They diagnosed her at age 27. Um, so we're going to go. They, they have a called ring around the needle. You go to the, all the bars around the uh, Space Needle, mm-hmm. and they get a T-shirt and stuff. So Alana and I are going to be going to that uh, charitable event. So, uh, you know, there's uh, there's no hard feelings, and as uh, your audience might be interested in, it'll be Brent under under uh, under the influence of alcohol again. <laughs> so, if anyone's interested, oh. ring around the needle, Melissa Erickson Foundation. 
Yes, and, and while you're there, you're talking to Matt Farmer. to keep right, get drunk again. It starts about one thirty. Up in the Matt Farmer's bar right there, right across from the uh, key arena. By the way. Uh, yes, that that bar. I, uh, if I'm not mistaken, is is closed. I, I have uh, checked. Um, yeah, it's right 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 across from the key. I looked in there, and it's uh, all yeah. torn up inside. I think it's done. Oh, that's too bad. Well, I haven't talked to Matt in a while, so anyway, check that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, there some of the bars. Uh, uh, there's Jabu's Pub where it starts. There's um, uh, Bandits is one of them. Uh, yeah, there's like um, seven or 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 eight. Uh, there's the, there's uh, Floyd's place. They'll be there. They'll probably be at Oscar's Sean Camp's restaurant. For those of you who remember, Sean Camp uh, <laughs> played for the Seattle SuperSonics for a number of years. That was on the sure. team of the center in the now, final. Now, Brent, now Brent, you know, given what you just told us, your side of the story, so I guess in your opinion, you would probably think that Brian and Vinny just totally overplayed this whole situation on their radio show, which kind of caused everybody to want to know what happened and, and everything. Uh, you know, I uh, I appreciated uh, what, what Brian had to say. I mean, he went and he talked to, to my friend for quite some time, and he and Whitney... I uh, talked to her when I wasn't there. Um, mm-hmm. So, you know, I take seriously uh, uh, what, what he what he had to say. Um, what uh, Vinny had to say, I don't know how much of that is, uh, I don't know how much of that is a work, I don't know how much of that is a shoot. Uh, I, I, uh, I can't really read uh, Vinny very well, but I can say that, that at the, uh, at the TNA house show, when I, Managed to uh, get there on the uh, on the the, uh, yeah. the 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 train. There's a special train that goes that goes there. Uh, I tapped him special on train. the uh, shoulder when he was watching the show. When he was during intermission, I tapped him on the shoulder, and he turns around and gives me a big grin. So mm-hmm. um, I yeah. You know, so uh, I'd like to uh, look back on that. Yeah. <sighs> Well, Brent, we have five minutes left in this show, and Ed sure. Throughout Craig, do you have any uh, for anything to add? Uh, Brent, I've said I think my I piece. clarified things. I, I, you did fine. I'll leave it at that. You did fine. All right. I, I wasn't going to, I wasn't going to tear the scab off the wound, but uh, thank you for calling in and doing so. Uh, yeah, sure. So um, I wanted, I just wanted to apologize to all of my fans out there. I I really appreciate all of the fans that I have, all the people that care about me, and and if I've disappointed them with my behavior, as I know I have disappointed people with my behavior, I feel really terrible because I appreciate all of your support. <laughs>